Kirk Gowdy and Kyle Rove are going to the second period now. Ohio State has the ball on the Stanford eight yard line with a third and six. And Ohio State outplayed in the first seven or eight minutes of the game has come back. They have run 26 plays to Stanford for 15 and they're starting to assert their ball control game now. 29 seniors here today for Ohio State. 13 of them started as sophomores two years ago. An unbelievable sophomore class they had. Six of those 13 sophomores have made All-American. They won't have too many better sophomore classes than they had here two years ago or graduating seniors. Third down and six. Rex Kern at quarterback out of the wishbone tee. Kern pitching to Galbo. Galbo powering to the three-yard line. Rich Galbo, sophomore, slashing type of runner. And they're calling time on the officials. They may want a measurement. What a tough decision for the Stanford defensive unit. They can't afford to let Kern cut that ball back up inside because of his ability to run, as we've already seen in this ball game. And then when they force him, he makes the pitch out. He gets that outstanding running from a number of his backs, Hayden, Brockington, Galba, whomever might be in the trailing position. Ohio State now and a Stanford three. Inches to go. Stanford digging in with that goal line defense. Rex Kern, the leading ball carrier in the game, the quarterback, has the crowd to quiet down. They're in the regular team. This means the belly series when they run this. Rocking them to the two, maybe the yard and a half line. John Brockingham. Oh, he's quick getting off that mark, isn't he, Kyle? Well, he's one of, as we mentioned, he has that type of power, not only to right up the middle or off tackle, as we've seen, but also outside. This also goes for Hayden. Two very unusual backs. Both good sized boys. Brockington's 216. Hayden, 208 pounds. Plenty to spare. Ohio State first and goal on the Stanford two-yard line. Ohio State started this drive on their 45. They ground out with their meat grinding offense. Nine plays there. They're back to their old game, staying on the ground. They started out by throwing the ball. Turn. Take the ball and give it to Brockington, and he's in there. Third faking coming out. Brockington right in. Here it is. Number 53, Brian Donovan blocking right in front. Another good block from Dave Cheney. There you see Brockington diving over. 55 yards in 10 plays for Ohio State. who are now dominating. Campana will hold. Red Schramm will attempt. And his kick is good. So action will continue here at the Rose Bowl. The score now is Ohio State 14, Stanford 10. Ohio State, Stan White will kick off. Notice he's going to boot from the far hash marks. He has that toe tied up. Looks like if he hit that thing real hard, he would puncture the ball with that front cleat. <laughs> Jack Brown, Jim Merrill, and Jim Kaufman. Eric Cross is not back there. He's their best kick returner. Jackie Brown, a yard deep in the end zone with a 10. On a reverse, and he's killing him on the 11. Cross was upfield. No wonder he wasn't back there in the goal line. He was up there to get a reverse 20 yards upfield in the short lineup. 
That shows you how Ohio State is dominating now. They've run over twice as many plays as Stanford. Ohio State goes on the defense. Stanford will put the ball in play now on their 11 yard line. So far, Jim Plunkett is four out of eight for 44 yards. They haven't done much in the ground except for one run by Eric Cross of 43 yards in a reverse. Out of the split backfield, Plunkett, his receiver, Fataha, <laughs> fell down. On the 16, he still made the grab in front of Jack Tatum. Randy Vataha, who leads Stanford in pass receiving, caught 48. He's, uh, if you've ever seen Jerry Levias play, he used to play at SMU, now the Houston Order, he's very much like him. He's small. But he has great moves. He explodes off the line, can stop, and then change direction. Second down, five to go. Stanford on her 16. There's a draw play to stop Cole in the 16 yard line. With George Hazenall, number 70, a sophomore. They have two sophomore tackles up front, Ohio State. Now it's third down and five. Pluckett has to figure something out. Pluckett hit 18 touchdown passes this year, completed 53%, holds the all time NCAA passing record and career total yardage record. Over 7,500 yards in passing, 7,800 yards for a total offense. The all time record. Good protection for him. And that pass is completed. Boy, he laid that one right in there. Don Lamp on him. Look at number 68, Jim Stillwagon. That's the protection Kurt was talking about. They're putting two men on him, John Sandy and either guard, Terrell Smith on the right or Lightfoot on the right, rather than uh, Smith on the left. They can watch more going out. Number 19, Don Lampka trying to defend against him. That's what you look for in a tight end like Moore. He can out wrestle you for that ball, big and strong. First down, Stanford on their own 24. They're going to the passing game. Again, great protection. The pass, look out. Tipped away and nearly intercepted by Jack Tatum, who timed his break. Was dashing in there. Flips it out of bounds. Plunkett apparently lost sight of him for a moment. He, he could have thrown the ball a little sooner. Gave Tatum time to move into position. You'll always see Tatum on the open side of the field. Debevic, the end, 83 on the open side. And the linebacker, Stan White, on the wide side of the field. They have the greatest pursuit and speed. Tatum came to Ohio State as an offensive star and has never played a play on offense. Second down, 10 for Stanford on their 24. They're trailing 14 to 10. Look out, a blitz is on. Incomplete. But they were blitzing the safety man, Sensenbaugh. Mike Sensenbaugh came deep in a blitz after him. And we thought that Ohio State will start to put some blitzes on, but they're still protecting him. You saw, you saw it quickly, Plunkett threw it. He saw the, uh, there's number three, Mike Sensenbaugh. Came off a broken ankle earlier in the season. Led the team in interceptions with seven. There he is on a blitz. Plunkett picked it up, but uh, shockingly, the fullback didn't. Third and 10 now. Jim Plunkett is six out of 12 on the Stanford 24. Reset their backfield with Shockley and Brown. Time again. The pass is complete to Hillary Shockley. He's to his 33 yard line. He does not have a first down. Ken Lutner. The right end of Ohio State makes the hit on him. So it'll be a fourth down. Fourth and two. And going back is Tim Anderson of Collier's West Virginia Senior. They have uh, four players on this defensive unit made All-American defensive. Uh, team members this year. Here's a kick. Murray just gets it away. And a call for a fair catch on the 40 yard line of Ohio State by Harry Howard. You young athletes watching today's game should know that the NCAA 
has condemned the use of any drug by college athletes. Its team doctors agree there's no known drug which helps a player to perform better, despite a lot of rumors you've heard about. Naturally, these doctors warn against the use of illegal drugs by all young people. That drug scene isn't smart or cool, it's dangerous and destructive. Get high on sports, not on drugs. Coming wide at the 40 is Jankowski, the end. They're using him coming around today. That's twice he's got the ball off the end position, and Bernie Barnes made the stop on him. Dennis Moore playing that very smartly, the linebacker, right side for Stanford, coming back, forcing Jankowski. Second down, six to go. Ohio State under 44. They were stunned early in this game. They were behind 10 to nothing, just like they were here two years ago against USC. But now they rally to go ahead. The pitch out. And Rich Galbos is dropped by Jack Schultz, who's a great rugby player. Stafford has the best rugby team in America in college. It's a club team there. Schultz said, I used to hear all the yelling over there in Pasadena New Year's Day. I didn't know what it was about. Now I'll find out. He lives just a few blocks reared from this Rose Bowl Stadium. On the 47-yard line of Ohio State, a third and three. Let's see how they've done on converting in third down. They have hit four out of seven so far. They've converted four times. Third down situations in a first down. Turn to the 50. He's short. He's short by a half yard. Now will they gamble with a 14 to 10 lead and a powerful ground attack? Jeff Seaman, the middle linebacker, and Jack Schultz, the safety man, stop Rex Kern. Rex Kern has carried the ball eight times. He is a leading ball carrier in this game. He's gained 66 yards. Woody Hayes pointing out. Kern looking to Woody. I think Woody wants a measurement. It looks like it's about four to six inches uh, away from that first down marker. It's a timeout they want. That's their second timeout that they've been charged. Their college team allowed four and a half, 9.52 to go and a half. And actually will continue here at the Rose Bowl to score. Ohio State 14, Stanford 10. And now we return you to our studios for this message. We pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. Fourth down, a foot to go. Ohio State will gamble at the 50-yard line. They're leading 14 to 10. And they have it. John Brockington goes to the Stanford 46. He was knocked down by Jeff Seaman, Stanford's middle linebacker, junior of Bakersfield, California. Ohio State now on the Stanford 46. Last three times they've had this ball, they've just driven, driven. 65 yards and 10 plays the last time for a touchdown. 65 yards and seven plays the time before that. Found that opening turn and darts through to the Stanford 39. Kern, looking at that defensive alignment, saw Jeff Seaman, the middle linebacker, move over to the strong side of his formation, which left uh, Larry Butler and Lazatich just spread out there as the two defensive tackles, and that was the opening that Kern took. Ohio State has run off 34 plays to Stanford's 21. Rex Kern, an all-state in three sports at Lancaster, Ohio High School. There's the belly series. He runs the keeper. He goes to the 35, sprints away to the 30. And he's been the outstanding player in this game so far, no doubt about it. He's going to have 100 yards on the ground before the first half is over. Now you can see it again. Faking to his fullback, Brockington. Pulling the ball right out. C-92, Seaman, the middle linebacker coming over. Getting a good block. And Kern again pulling loose from tackles. Strong runner, 44, Jack Schultz finally bringing him down. 8.40 to go in the half. Ohio State leading 14 to 10. They pitch to Campana. Campana is hit by number 29, Benny Barnes. And he's dropped at the Stanford 20-yard line. Tom Campana, a junior of Kent, Ohio. We ask 
Woody Hayes, we said, you lose all these great All-Americans and seniors, how will you be next year? Very good, he said. We always have great material at Ohio State. We get beat us because of bad coaching. Second down, five. Wishbone tee. Leo Hayden to the 10 yard line. Leo Hayden. 208 pounder of Dayton, Ohio, and it took Jim Coffin, the safety man, helped by his other safety buddy, Jack Schultz, to stop him. Ohio State, first down on a Stanford 10. Right now, Ohio State is just too powerful here in this second period. Stanford cannot figure out this option offense, and especially they can't stop Rex Kern, the quarterback. First down, not first and goal. Second man through. Larry Zelina, who uh, probably is the best all-around running back they have and has been injured all year, Cleveland, Ohio. He's just short of the five, but second down, five to go. Now they're getting five, six, seven, eight yards in a crack. Rich Galbos, 33, replaces Zelina. 14 to 10. Ohio State ahead. A little over seven minutes to play in the first half. Turn right in the ball and stop the time at the four yard line. Number 87, Ron Cajo of Glendora, California, a senior. They now have a third down and two and a half to go. This drive started on the Ohio State 40. We have a timeout Ch charged to Ohio State. That's their third timeout of this half. Action will continue here at the Rose Bowl. The score is Ohio State 14 and Stanford 10. And the Ohio State fans rocking to a little spinning wheel. Then the 15,000 of them came here from Columbus, 50 chartered planes, 102,000 on hand for the Rose Bowl. Beautiful afternoon here, 75 degrees. Five minutes and one second, Ohio State's had the ball on this drive. And as Woody Hayes calls it, his grinding meat offense. They're at the three and a half of Stanford. It's third and two and a half to go. Or a first down. That's Hayden. And he stopped at the three. The timing, Kyle, seemed to be a little bit off when he started that play. A little bit. It was also a sort of a deceptive type of play. They sent one of their halfbacks. I think it was, I believe, Campana coming back around to the opposite side, trying to influence the Stanford defensive unit. Stanford has stayed pretty much in a four-man line, which is a little difficult to stop those option plays. There are too many openings between the four men and the way the Buckeyes' offensive line is coming off that ball getting to them too quickly. Fred Schramm will try a field goal from the Stanford 10. The high snap, the kick is blocked. And it is no good. They blocked it. I believe Benny Barnes rushed in there and blocked Fred Schramm's kick. So Stanford holds, which could be a psychological lift for them. After the ball from their own 40, rammed it to the three and a half. They were stopped on two plays in a row, and then they missed the field goal. Stanford ball on their own 20. Super special weekend, January 16th to 17th. The Bing Crosby Pro-Am, Saturday 6 to 7 p.m. Sunday, A Man Named Lombardi, the documentary on the life of Vince Lombardi. Produced by a good friend of ours, George Flynn. On Sunday, the Super Bowl, a pregame show. Special guest, Joe Namath, and I'll be there. And then the Super Bowl ball game itself. Then the Bing Crosby Golf. Look it. It is no good for Randy Bataha which is a Czechoslovakian name from Garden Grove, California. He wears the same number as quite a pass receiver, used to wear at Stanford, named Gene Washington. Stepped right into his shoes. Second down 10, Stanford on their 20. Let's check Plunkett right now, he's seven out of 14. Six three to six 210 pounder. Run 
runs it. He's out to the 25, to the 30, to the 35. He's at the 40 and races to the sideline to stop the clock and goes into the Stanford bench. He can move. He's not a wild scrambler, but he can he can move it on the ground. Watch Stillwagon 68. Sandy just turning him to the right. And here comes Plunkett up that little gap. Number 75, Bill Myers turning out on his block, picking up 62, Terrell Smith, the left guard. And there goes Plunkett, taking advantage of that tremendous charge by Stillwagon. That's twice Stillwagon's come in there and maybe overcommitted himself, Kyle, and they moved him out with a trap. Well, he's so aggressive, uh, they're trying to take advantage of his strength by letting him overshoot the play. That was one way to do it. Plunkett ran a quarterback draw earlier. Jack Brown to the 45 of Stanford where Jim Stillwagon hit him. Stillwagon was second on this Stanford team in tackles with 92. Stan White, their right linebacker, led. From Mount Vernon, Ohio, Stillwagon is about as quick a defensive lineman as Ohio State's ever had, number 68. He's a lineman of the year for everybody. Won the Outland Trophy Award. Second down eight. Stanford on their 45. They're trailing 14 to 10. Here's a blitz on, and he tried to unload it. There's a flag down. Sensen ball blitzed again from the safety position. Number three, the All-American safety blitzed again. Watch it. Number and you three. can see him again. You see Stillwagon taking off to the right to occupy Sandy. And here comes Sensenbaugh. And there was holding on the play. I think they charged it to Dan Lightfoot, the right, right guard, rather. That one will hurt the Indians. Puts them back on their 22 yard line. From the spot of the foul, they lost on that play 23 yards. They now have a second down and 31 yards to go. They're behind 14 to 10. They grabbed an earlier 10 0 lead when they shocked Ohio State. But Ohio State came right back, a team that never seems to lose its poise, Ohio State. Now it must be Stanford to come from behind. Second down, 31, from the Stanford 22. Five minutes to go in the half. That's complete to the 37-yard line to Demia Washington to split in. Harry Howard right on top of him. One thing about this safety Red Dog that we've been talking about. We've seen Mike Sensabaugh of Ohio State so effectively uh, executing. Is that the quarterback sees the safety man blitzing. The receivers also have to be aware of it, looking in. I'm sure that uh, Plunkett will be talking to his receivers to be looking for that Red Dog so that they can expect that ball a little quicker, cut their pass route a little shorter. Third and 16 for Stanford from their 37. Right on the button to the 40, 35, and down to the 31 is Jamea Washington. Boy, Plunkett, you couldn't throw a more perfect pass than that one. And he got good protection, too. Excellent protection from Smith, Lightfoot, Sandy. There he goes. Strong arm. We can see him working again on number 28. That's Harry Howard curling right around Howard. Lassiter now replaces Demia Washington, who's caught two in a row. First down, Stanford on the Ohio State 31. Shockley and Jackie Brown set behind Plunkett. Lassiter set to the right, but Taha to the left. Plunkett on the option to Brown. Brown gets away from Sensabaugh. Brown down that sideline is pulling out of bounds. On the Stanford 11, Sensabaugh had a crack and missed him as Brown outran him. Uh, there was a little twist, a Plunkett option play. Jim Plunkett. On the 14, they say he stepped up. First down for Stanford on the Ohio State 14. Jim Plunkett is 9 out of 16. They got a momentary hold and they go to the 10. That's Hillary Shockley who down around the goal line is their best runner. George Hazenhall, number 70, of Garfield Heights, Ohio, stopped him, helped by Stan White of Kent, Ohio. 
Shockley gained uh, the most yards of any Stanford runner this year, 622 yards. On the 10 yard line of Ohio State, second and six, there are three minutes and 20 seconds to go in the half. Ohio State leading 14 to 10. And driving to the 12 is Hillary Shockley again, number 38. Number 67, Ralph Holloway. And Mark Debevic, the end. Stanford has converted to the first down twice out of four times. Four out of eight for Ohio State. Chad Williams is coming in to tackle John Ralston with his clipboard. There's Williams getting in there in that goal line defense. On the eight yard line, it's third down now and four to go. And a fumble, and it looks like an Ohio State recovery. Ohio State's ball. Since the ball fell on it, number three. Bob Moore on the end around, the tight end around, fumble it. Since the ball recovers to stop the Stanford drive on the 12 or 13 yard line of Ohio State. Stanford has fumbled three times and lost once. They have not had a pass intercepted, so they've had only one turnover. Ohio State has it, hasn't turned the ball over once. Turn on the pitch out to Galbo. It's nearly a bad pitch out. And he's out to his 22 for Dave Tipton. And the safety man coming up, Kaufman helped him. Tipton 76. He's played a magnificent game up front for Stanford so far. Ohio State on their 22 with a second down on the yard to go. Two minutes to go in the first half. Ohio State leading 14 to 10. Hayden to the 24 yard line for a first down Ohio State. Again is Tipton and Jeff Seaman the middle linebacker. We'll see if Stanford alters their defensive alignment at all. They've been in a 4-3 defensive set most of the ball game, in fact, all of the ball game with a minute 48 on the clock running. Turn throwing deep over the head of Jankowski, number 82. Jankowski being covered by number 21, Charles McLeod. Trying to hit that bomb just before the end of the half. Second down 10. Now Stanford. After leading 10 nothing Ohio State rolled back in two long drives to take a 14 to 10 lead Ohio State put on his third sustained drive tried a field goal and missed it and then Stanford came back on a 72 yard drive to fumble the ball away. Zelina's out Rich Galbos has gone in the Ohio State backfield second down 10 Ohio State on her 25. Jankowski is split to the left. Up the middle they go to Jim John Brockington on his 30 yard line. Dennis Moore, number 82, playing the place of the injured Simone today. Stanford has asked for a timeout now. They stop the clock with a minute 26 to go in the half. Third down and five for Ohio State on their 30. So action will continue here at the Rose Bowl and the score is Ohio State 14 and Stanford 10. It'll be third and five for Ohio State on their 30 yard line. They're leading 14 to 10 as the time a minute 26 to go in the first half. They're running it again he gets the first down. Rex Kern and that'll put him over 100 yards rushing. How's that for a quarterback over 100 yards rushing and a half Ohio State first down on their 39 104 yards for Rex Kern on the ground. Now straight drop throws to the sideline out of bounds goes the tight end Jan White. 
who was an All-American hurdler at Harrisburg, Pennsylvania in high school. Three-year starter. Ohio State under 43, second down six. A minute 13 to play. We talked about the second half. It's something for Stanford to worry about if they go on past records. Third on the option. Pitches out with the right split second to Galbos who turned that corner and goes into Stanford territory in the Stanford 48. It's another Ohio State first down with a minute four seconds remaining in the half. And they're going to line up without a huddle now. They have used three of their timeouts. And that one is good at the 44 of Stanford to Jan White, who stepped out of bounds to stop the clock. So now Ohio State's trying to race the clock for the goal line. Second and six. This must be an interesting phase of football for the Ohio State team, not known as a passing team and not a wide open team, to face a situation where they have to go the length of the field with the clock running out on them. Kern pitching. Here's an option pass. Galbos is throwing deep. Incomplete. Pass was intended for Jankowski to split in 82. Woody Hayes is about to send the play in. Ohio State, you see the number of plays they run off, 49 to 28 for Stanford. My information is correct. That's the first pass uh, Galbos has thrown this season. It'll be third down now and six to go. With 50 seconds remaining in the half. Turn hit to 49 at Stanford by Bill Alexander. Number 72, a senior of San Diego. They have a fourth and 11, Ohio State. Stanford has time to stop the clock. There are your first downs, 13 to 8. Let's recap what's happened in this game. Ohio State got the ball, was stopped. They tried a first down on a Stanford 39-yard line after a drive. Stanford stopped them, took over, and Stanford went 59 yards with Jackie Brown going over for a touchdown three yards out. Plunkett had passed for a touchdown to Shockley that was called back. Stanford got the ball again and ripped Ohio State up on Plunkett's passing. They were finally stopped in the Ohio State 26, and Steve Horowitz kicked a 37-yard field goal. But Ohio State, which fell behind USC in the Rose Bowl here by an identical 10-0 score, came back on a 65-yard, seven-play drive, rocking and plunging over. They came back again on a 65-yard, 10-play drive, rocking and plunging over. And they lead 14 to 10. Now a punt formation. Lego is a punt formation. Each team that one punt previous to this, a fair catch call at the 19-yard line by Eric Cross. 27 seconds here in this change of possession. The clock will not start until the snap of the ball. 31-yard kick from scrimmage. 27 seconds remaining in the half. Ohio State ahead, 14 to 10. For a passer of Plunkett's caliber, uh, that's, I would say, not ample time, but he could certainly do it in that amount of time. We'll see what type of defensive alignment Ohio State comes up with. They're in sort of a three-man rush. Luckett is nine out of 16 in passing for 113 yards. That's below his usual yardage average. He draws it to Shockley, who brings it out to the 29-yard line. Dan Lampka, Don Lampka, defensive back, brought him down. And Stanford calls time to stop the clock with 18 seconds to go, where they'll have a second down and a yard to go. Jim Plunkett is only the second Heisman winner to play in the Rose Bowl the year he won the Heisman Trophy. The first one was O.J. Simpson in 1968. And there's Plunkett talking to the Stanford uh, sideline. And as Woody Hayes pointed out uh, prior to the game, interesting uh, 
change for them. Ohio State faced Simpson in that uh, 68 game. Facing a great runner. This time they're facing a great passer. Doesn't look like they've changed. <laughs> Ohio State hasn't changed much. They're still as strong as ever on defense. He was very frank about it, wasn't he, Kyle? He said, we didn't stop O.J. Simpson Cole, but we contained him some and we won. We don't expect to stop Jim Plunkett Cole, but we expect to contain him some and win again. Second and one. Plunkett fires. Intercepted. He tried to get out of bounds, and he does. And grabbing that ball was Stan White, a linebacker, number 88. The pass was intended for Randy Vataha, and Ohio State has another shot now with 10 seconds to go in the half. There's some curious and fast talking on the sideline there with Woody Hayes and Rex Kern as the Kern leaves to go out onto the field. What type of play, what type of attack to go with just 10 seconds remaining. That's the first interception for Plunkett in the game was averaged only one interception every 20 passes this year. First down Ohio State and the Stanford 35. The clock is moving now. Kern fires and he's got Hayden but he misses it. Not a bound. With four seconds to go. Benny Barnes was chasing Leo Hayden down that sideline. Kern has attempted three out of six. For 29 yards. But don't look at that. Look at his ground gaining today. Net 99. He was over 104. Now it's down to net 99. For a half. 99 for a game is a good hallmark for any running back. Ohio State has run off 51 plays to Stanford's 29. This may be the last play of the half. And it's going to be. Turns pass. No good. That's the last play of the first half. Well, there they go. Both teams getting fine ovations. From the near side here, Ohio State, from the far side, as Charles McLeod goes off the Stanford Indians. And there's your score at halftime. A very interesting first half, with Stanford dominating in the early part of the game and Ohio State taking control in the second quarter. And then when it looked like Stanford was fading, they came back on a beautifully executed 72-yard drive, only to fumble the ball away down near the Ohio State goal line. And as long as they have Jim Plunkett throwing, they're going to be dangerous here in the second half. But Ohio State in the second half this year has scored 158 points to the opponent's 36. And in the third period alone, they racked up 90 points to their opponent's nine points. So they're a team that seems to punish the opposition, wear them down, and play their best ball in the second half. Let's see if Stanford will be able to be a good second half team also. We're ready to go now with our halftime show, the Ohio State University Marching Band, directed by Paul Droste. 150 band members, 120 of these appearing on the field, 30 on the sidelines to handle the props and act as all of them. And now we switch you over to Ohio State's Marching Band. <laughs> Computers helped us step out on the moon. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. What do you want to say to you? All right. What do you want to say to you? What do you want to say to you? All right. What do you want to say to you?
and drills should click to perfection and leave directors lazy for lack of direction. A computer can react to people with unpredictability or hate once they've punched into their program. Ha ha, bend, spindle, or mutilate. Now we'll have to whip it into shape by hand, which shows only humans can lead a band. Dating by computer is becoming quite the thing, which rhymes with fling and cling and ring and then with offspring. But Priscilla shunned her printout of a suitor and said, speak for yourself, you cute computer. We fed it full of fact and fiction and ask it not to be absurd, but please to unwind a prediction and here it comes, a four letter word.
Ohio State's leading at halftime 14 to 10 and halftime activities will continue from the 1971 Rose Bowl game after we pause for station. This 1971 Rose Bowl game is brought to you by Chrysler Corporation. Engineering with care. Your host for today, your local Chrysler Plymouth dealer. By the Gillette Company, makers of the dry look. The wet head is dead. Long live the dry look. By Goodyear, the only makers of long-wearing polyglass tires. And by Marlboro Filter Cigarette. Come to where the flavor is. Come to Marlboro Country. Well, here at halftime, Ohio State leading 14 to 10 at the Rose Bowl. Stanford's band now examines the prospects for the year. A series of New Year's resolutions for the nation are directed by Arnie Barnes, the Stanford Marching Band. <laughs> resolve this new year to clean up our political problems, to wash D.C. The band plays Make Me Smile. should be to deal with the population bomb, exploding our trained resources. Let's plan to avoid an unpleasant mistake at the midnight hour.
We face unemployment, inflation, the consumer revolt. The baby's pacifier pictured on the field symbolizes the need to keep the customer satisfied. <laughs> great resolution for 1971, not to persist in mistakes, not to let the problems go unsolved. We're not going to take it anymore. Both teams are back on the field. Let's take a look at the stats of the first half. Total yards, Ohio State leading by 31. Ohio State way out in rushing, Stanford far ahead in passing. Cal Rope will take you down with him. Well, as far as a running yardage for Ohio State, 226 yards to 109 for Stanford. 28 yards passing, or 23 yards rather, for Ohio State against 109 through the air for Stanford. Kern, the top ground gainer in the ball game, 106 yards. Eric Cross, the leading ground gainer for Stanford with 41 yards. That was just on one carry. That was that early reverse. Demeo Washington caught three for 58 yards for Stanford. 51 plays for Ohio State to Stanford's 31. Stanford had one fumble. That was the one that hurt them when they were driving toward the Ohio State goal line. Ohio State's going to kick off. That'll be Stan White. We're waiting for Stanford to break out. And for 29 seniors in Ohio State, 16 seniors in Stanford, they're ready to start the last half of their collegiate career. Eric Cross, way back deep. Reggie Sanderson, who has some muscle spasms in his back, was doubtful today, but he's going to be back there with Cross to receive the kickoff. The leading ground gainer in the game, Rex Kern, the quarterback, 99 yards in the first half. Lucas picked up 29 yards on the ground. 
Eric Cross early to ground gainer 41 yards for Stanford. Most on one play a reverse. 14 to 10 Ohio State. Kurt Gowdy and Kyle Rowe. Glad you're with us. Here's the boot. Cross dangerous now on the two. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He's quick. He has a spurt. And he's brought down by Mike Sensabaugh, the safety man number three. There are the first downs, Ohio State 13, Stanford 8. Stanford on their 35 with a first down. Plunkett's the quarterback. Shockley, Jackie Brown the running backs. Lassiter set to the left, but Taha to the right. Bob Moore the tight end. Move now into a wing. Near offside, but not quite. Play action pass. It is flag drop at the 44-yard line of Stanford. That was Tim Anderson, the right halfback, in there covering against Lassiter, who's been plagued by injuries in his career. Looks like Lassiter hurt again on the play. He'll be replaced. Jamia Washington replaces him, Kyle, number 36. They mark the pass at the 45. That's interference against Ohio State, and it's a first down. First down for Stanford on their own 45. 10 out of 18 now for Jim Plunkett. First game Plunkett ever played as a sophomore. He passed for over 300 yards. He has started 31 games in a row. Roll out, he's under the gun. Boy, did he need to let in to Bob Moore. A perfect pass to the tight end, Bob Moore, with Harry Howard on him. And watch it again, and of course, Plunkett getting that ball off just in time, getting pressure from the right side from Chad William. And there's a the tackle. They watch Bob Moore moving downfield all alone. And there's the tackle. Held on to the ball. Catching the ball in traffic, most important for those tight ends. This Bob Moore is some tight end for Stafford. That was a 17-yard pass. He can get off that line and go deep, and he's got a great pair of hands. Hillary Shockley with the Ohio State 35. Stopped there by Shad Williams, the right tackle. It'll be second down seven. President Nixon planned to be here today. California native, but he couldn't be here, and so he gave his Rose Bowl tickets to Mrs. Mary J. Laurie and her three children. She is the wife. Her husband is a prisoner of war in Vietnam, an Air Force captain, and both are graduates of Ohio State. Mrs. Laurie and her three children here as guests of President Nixon. Blunkett starting the option. The pitch out is to Jack Brown. Brown drives to the Ohio State 30. Stan White hit him, the right linebacker. Stanford coming up now with a third down and two. We're just underway in the second half. Ohio State leading 14 to 10. Texas was upset today by Notre Dame. Tennessee defeated the Air Force. The Orange Bowl will follow this telecast. Stanford's converted twice out of five attempts on third down situations. Third and two. Shockley did not make it. Tatum pounced right on him. Jack Tatum, the cornerback, number 32. They lost a yard or two. So now they have a fourth and three. Tatum, who runs 100 under 10 seconds, an all-state fullback in New Jersey before he came to Ohio State. Usually he plays on the open end. Now he's going over to the close side. A field goal here now from the 38 by St Horowitz, Steve Horowitz, who's kicked one today. His kick is up, and it is good. That's a 48-yard field goal by Steve Horowitz, and it's a one-point ball game. Action will continue here at the Rose Bowl. The score, Ohio State 14, Stanford 13.
We have just had a new Rose Bowl record. 48 yard field goal by Steve Horowitz of Stanford breaks the old record of 44 yards by George Fleming of Washington against Minnesota in 1961. Horowitz will kick off. Campana on the far side. Jankowski's in the middle. And Brockington, the three deep men for Ohio State. A low kick. Brockington handles it on the eight to the 15 to the 20. Powers his way over his 30 and is piled up there on his 31 yard line. Be sure you don't miss the Bob Hope Christmas Show, a special 90 minute program featuring highlights of Bob's Holiday Armed Forces Tour. January 14th, it will be seen on NBC, 8.30 Eastern Time. We'll see now if Stanford changes their defensive lineman. They've been going with a 4-3. Very difficult to force that quarterback on the option play with the alignment of personnel on a 4-3. Out of the wishbone, turn keeps, and it's powered down at the 34 by Pete Lazatic, a junior from Billings, Montana. They have him from all over on the Stanford team, from the cow country, from the southwest, along California way from the east. His uncle played for the Rams. Second down, seven. Ohio State under 34. They're leading 14 to 13 early in the third quarter. Brockington and a quick hitter straight through. Maybe to his 39. Laza Titch again. Now here comes Dick Kuhn, the guard in with a play, replacing Brian Donovan. Third down, two to go for Ohio State. Rex Kern asking for quiet. Boy, coming through is Brockett, and he's on the way. They haul him down. A quick opener. What speed this fullback has. He exploded out of there. Here it is. Just a quick driving. Burst of speed by Brockington, and that hole opened up so wide. Of course, there was the option. They were looking for the outside option, waiting for Kern to flip out to Hayden or to trailing man. 40 yard run by John Brockington. First down, Ohio State under Stanford 21. Second man through is Hayden to the 15. And he was hit by 92. Jeff Seaman, the middle linebacker. Come on, Kane! Second down. A long four to go. Ohio State threatening after that quick opener by John Brockett. And we have ten and a half minutes to play in the third period. Ohio State leading 14 to 13. This will be a second and four. They're using that wishbone. Rich Galbos that time inside the Stanford 10. And will be first and goal to go for Ohio State. Jeff Kaufman tackled him, the safety man. Hayden led the way. We pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. Kurt Gowdy and Kyle Rowe back with you at the Rose Bowl. First and goal for St Ohio State in the Stanford nine to pitch out to Galbos. And he's hit by Dave Tipton, the defensive tackle, who really is a defensive end under this Stanford setup. They call him a tackle, but he plays on the end of the defensive line. It's on the eight yard line. Second down, eight to go for an Ohio State touchdown. Ohio State ahead 14 to 13. Getting a struggle today from Stanford, a 10 point underdog. Regular T. This is where they use the belly series. Turn pitches to Hayden. Hayden makes the move and goes to the six or the seven. 92 in there. Simone, 78, and Razakin. They're talking it over with Stanford with a flag. 
These are the kind of penalties that make coaches shudder. And you have one of those wide receivers who come back in to help out on the play. Very difficult not to clip. Have to be very careful. So it's now second down and 27 to go for an Ohio State touchdown. Galbos comes out and Larry Zelina is in the Ohio State backfield. Jankowski splits to the left. Out of the eye. Kern shoots it down the middle and a hook pattern to Zelina at the 14. Larry Zelina playing his last game for Ohio State. Maybe we can say it again. Kern going back. Zelina with all the excellent moves. Good pair of hands coming across, diving. And bothered with the hamstring muscle. They were concerned about how much he would be able to play, if at all, today. Third down now, 14 to go for an Ohio State touchdown on the Stanford 14 yard line. Ohio State's converted six times on third out of 12. Running pass, no good. Pass was intended for Zelina again. And dropping back was Lazatich to tackle and Simone, the middle linebacker, to cover. Here comes the field goal kicker on the field now, Fred Schramm. He's had one block today. Each time he's had pressure coming in from the right, we might look for it, see who is lining up there. This will be a 32-yard field goal attempt by Schramm, who's kicked six out of 11 this year. His kick is up, and it is good. Fred Schramm boots it through. Action will continue here at the Rose Bowl. The score now, Ohio State 17, Stanford 13. Ohio State will kick off from the far side. Eric Cross. Jackie Brown are back. Well, they've had field goals, each team in this half. Check that, they've gone to Reggie Sanderson now. Eight minutes, 33 seconds to play in the third quarter. Stan White kicking. High, coming to Sanderson on the six. The 15, to the 20. And buried under on his own 22-yard line. He was hit by Harry Howard, the defensive back. The Gator Bowl on NBC. Tomorrow, Auburn against Ole Miss. Two o'clock Eastern time. And the Senior Bowl, the North Seniors against the South Seniors, January 9th on NBC at two o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Stanford's ball under 22 with a first down. Jim Plunkett today is 10 out of 18. They haven't been able to get the ball to their ace receiver, Vataha. Quick hit on the sideline. That was Demia Washington now, who's caught four passes. Tim Anderson drove him out. Vataha has caught one pass for only five yards. And he's their big receiving threat. Have you seen anything, Kyle, they're doing against Vataha? Well, one reason, uh, when they flank him out, they're usually going to the wide side of the field. And of course, that's the side Jack Tatum is favoring. Uh, as we'll see, Tatum now coming out. They have a slot formation to the bottom of your screen. Vataha is in the slot. Second down, four to go. Stanford under 28. Play action pass. A lob deep, complete to Bob Moore. Look and feathered it to him beautifully. Bob Moore, the brilliant tight end of Stanford. And here's the most difficult pass to throw, running to your left for a right-hander. Perfect arch to perfect lob, perfect trajectory. And here's Moore coming off the line of scrimmage, not getting much, uh, no one bothering him at the line of scrimmage. Number three, Mike Sensabaugh, driving him out of bounds. Woody Hayes said we may be playing against the finest passer to ever play in a Rose Bowl. Woody knew what he was talking about. First down, Stanford on the Ohio State 36. Great drop back. Over the head of the receiver, he fired that ball. I don't know what he was just trying to 
dump it over his head or whether he had too much on it. Second down, 10. Woody Hayes, 28 years, a head coach. A history buff, especially military history. George Patton was his hero, General George Patton. Second down, 10. They're in a slot right with Bataha in the slot. There's a blitz on. He's buried in. His sense of ball hitting first. And then Shad Williams, 79, the sophomore tackle, took him down. That's the first time they really got to him today. Second time, but I mean, that was when they really put the heat on him. 12 yard loss. Goes back to the Ohio State 48. And Ohio State's been using that safety blitz today, sending Mike Sensabaugh in from the safety spot. Don Lampka goes in now as a secondary back, replacing the tackle, Hazard Hall. They have an extra secondary back in the game. Third and 22 for Stanford from the Ohio State 48. They're going to run it. And Hillary Shockley carries it to the 43-yard line of Ohio State, where Doug Adams brought him down, number 63, a pre-dental student, who calls the defensive signals on the Ohio State team. Fourth and 17. Hazen Hall goes back in his tackle. Steve Murray's in punt formation. Sensabaugh is the safety man. Angles it for the far coffin corner. This may be a beauty, and it pins him out. It goes out on the Ohio State seven. Well, they nail the lid on the coffin. Two million people in Pakistan are faced with starvation, exposure, disease. The Pakistan flood was the worst natural disaster of this century. It'll be a greater disaster if we don't care. Send whatever amount you can to save the survivors. Pakistan Relief Fund, Box 1670, Washington, D.C., 20013. Thank you very much. Ohio State on their own seven-yard line. They're leading 17 to 13. Brockington to his nine. Jeff Seaman, the middle linebacker. Woody sending a play in. Q and the guard comes out. Donovan went in and replaced him. Second down, eight yards to go. Ohio State on their own nine. Just under six minutes remaining in the third period. Rocking and running it to his 16 or 17. Once again, Jeff Seaman made the hit on him. I believe they'll measure. Well, they call it a first down. They don't measure. Down the Ohio State 17-yard line, the Buckeyes have a first down. And the shuttle system in again at guard. Jankowski spreads to the left. Wishbone. Turn pitching to Hayden. Hayden to the 25, 30, 40, and stepped out of bounds on the Ohio State 40 yard line. Leo Hayden. Jim Kaufman pushed him out. 23 yard gain by Hayden. And again, Stanford staying in this four man line. I hate to keep. Uh, referring to it except it's extremely difficult they're hooking the defensive end and that puts the pressure on that outside linebacker as he comes across whether to go for the quarterback go for the fullback or wait out for the pitch out and he's getting caught right in the middle not making a definite decision not forcing it one way or the other they hit him right along the line of scrimmage rocket in that time Dave, it was uh, Bill Alexander, the end, number 72, a second stringer, has played a strong game since he's been in here for Stanford. Second down, nine to go. 
for Ohio State. Four minutes, 40 seconds remaining in the third period. Ohio State, with their usual ball control, has ran off 65 plays to Stanford's 41. Stanford moving up in a six-man front, you'll notice. Kern. To his 49, Jack Schultz, the safety man. Tackling, we're looking down the Ohio State bench. The leading ground gainer in this game is the quarterback, Rex Kern, with 109 yards. Brockington has 106. Hayden has 51. Eric Cross with 41 yards, the leading ball carrier for Stanford. Third down and a yard to go. Brockington, a first down to the Stanford 47. Ron Cajo on the tackle. Ohio State now has converted seven out of 14 third down situations. Stanford, two out of seven. Turn keeping, and he's dumped there. Looks like Seaman, 92, the middle linebacker. He's been roaming all over this field today. It is now on the 47 and a half, second down, 10 and a half yards to go. Ohio State in possession in Stanford territory. And a few times, Ohio State's lost yardage. Turn on a drop back, plenty of time, broken up. Flag down, number 28, reaching over the shoulder. Number 29, Benny Barnes. That's a tough play. You got to go up over the man's back, hook around him, or else it's a completed pass. Might be able to see it again. Number 80, Jan White going down. There's Barnes hitting him just before the ball comes to him. As Kurt says, it's very difficult to try and go over the man's shoulder. Both teams have been comparatively free of mistakes in this game. Very few turnovers, very few penalties. Stanford's had only two turnovers. Ohio State hasn't turned the ball over once. Typical Ohio State performance to the 36-yard line of Stanford went John Brockington, Larry Butler put him down as he upended him. The second down, seven. As we told you, during the year, Ohio State fumbled the ball away only five times in nine games. Two and a half minutes remaining in the third period. 17 to 13, Ohio State leading. Turn keeps, may have been a mess up on the handoff. Timing destroyed. Dave Tipton tackled him. And Dennis Moore. On the 33-yard line of Stanford, Ohio State has a third down and four. As Stanford moved one of its defensive tackles over the nose of the head, 14 to 13. Getting a struggle today from Stanford, a 10-point underdog. Regular tee. This is where they use the belly series. Turn pitches to Hayden. Hayden makes the move and goes to the six or the seven. 92 in there, Simone. 78 for They're talking it over with Stanford with a flag. These are the kind of penalties that make coaches shudder. And you have one of those wide receivers who come back in to help out on the play. Very difficult not to clip. Have to be very careful. So it's now second down and 27 to go for an Ohio State touchdown. Galbos comes out and Larry Zelina is in the Ohio State backfield. Jankowski splits to the left. Out of the eye. 
Kern shoots it down the middle and a hook pattern to Zelina at the 14. Larry Zelina playing his last game for Ohio State. And we can say it again. Kern going back. Zelina with all the excellent moves. Good pair of hands coming across diving. And bothered with the hamstring muscle. They were concerned about how much he would be able to play if at all today. Third down now, 14 to go for an Ohio State touchdown on the Stanford 14 yard line. Ohio State's converted six times on third out of 12. Running pass, no good. Pass was intended for Zelina again. And dropping back was Lazatich to tackle. And Simone, the middle linebacker, to cover. Here comes the field goal kicker on the field now, Fred Schramm. He's had one block today. Each time he's had pressure coming in from the right, we might look for it, see who is lining up there. This will be a 32-yard field goal attempt by Schramm, who's kicked six out of 11 this year. His kick is up, and it is good. Fred Schramm boots it through. Action will continue here at the Rose Bowl. The score now, Ohio State 17, Stamford 13. Ohio State will kick off from the far side. Eric Cross. Jackie Brown are back. Well, they've had field goals, each team in this half. Check that, they've gone to Reggie Sanderson now. Eight minutes, 33 seconds to play in the third quarter. Stan White kicking. High, coming to Sanderson on the six. The 15, the 20. And buried under on his own 22-yard line. He was hit by Harry Howard, the defensive back. The Gator Bowl on NBC. Tomorrow, Auburn against Ole Miss. Two o'clock Eastern time. And the Senior Bowl, the North Seniors against the South Seniors, January 9th on NBC at two o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Stanford's ball under 22 with a first down. Jim Plunkett today is 10 out of 18. They haven't been able to get the ball to their ace receiver, Vataha. Quick hit on the sideline. That was Demia Washington now, who's caught four passes. Tim Anderson drove him out. Vataha has caught one pass for only five yards. And he's their big receiving threat. Have you seen anything, Kyle, they're doing against Vataha? Well, one reason, uh, when they flank him out, they're usually going to the wide side of the field. And of course, that's the side Jack Tatum is favoring. Uh, as we'll see, Tatum now coming out. They have a slot formation to the bottom of your screen. Vataha is in the slot. Second down, four to go. Stanford under 28. Play action pass. A lob deep, complete to Bob Moore. Look and feathered it to him beautifully. Bob Moore, the brilliant tight end of Stanford. And here's the most difficult pass to throw, running to your left for a right-hander. Perfect arch to perfect lob, perfect trajectory. And here's Moore coming off the line of scrimmage, not getting much, uh, no one bothering him at the line of scrimmage. Number three, Mike Sensabaugh, driving him out of bounds. Woody Hayes said we may be playing against the finest passer to ever play in a Rose Bowl. Woody knew what he was talking about. First down, Stanford on the Ohio State 36. Great drop back. Over the head of the receiver, he fired that ball. I don't know what he was just trying to dump it over his head or whether he had too much on it. Second down, 10. Woody Hayes, 28 years, a head coach. A history buff, especially military history. George Patton was his hero, General George Patton. Second down, 10. They're in a slot right with Vataha in the slot. There's a blitz on. He's buried under. Sensabaugh hitting first, 
And then Shad Williams, 79, the sophomore tackle, took him down. That's the first time they really got to him today. Second time, but I mean, that was when they really put the heat on him. 12 yard loss goes back to the Ohio State 48. And Ohio State's been using that safety blitz today, sending Mike Sensabaugh in from the safety spot. Don Lampka goes in now as a secondary back, replacing the tackle, Hazard Hall. They have an extra secondary back in the game. Third and 22 for Stanford from the Ohio State 48. They're going to run it. And Hillary Shockley carries it to the 43-yard line of Ohio State, where Doug Adams brought him down, number 63, a pre-dental student, who calls the defensive signals on the Ohio State team. Fourth and 17. Hazen Hall goes back in his tackle. Steve Murray's in punt formation. Sensabaugh is the safety man. Angles it for the far coffin corner. This may be a beauty, and it pins him out. It goes out on the Ohio State seven. So they nail the lid on the coffin. Two million people in Pakistan are faced with starvation, exposure, disease. The Pakistan flood was the worst natural disaster of this century. It'll be a greater disaster if we don't care. Send whatever amount you can to save the survivors. Pakistan Relief Fund, Box 1670, Washington, D.C., 20013. Thank you very much. Ohio State on their own seven-yard line. They're leading 17 to 13. Brockington to his nine. Jeff Seaman, the middle linebacker. Woody sending a play in. Q and the guard comes out. Donovan went in and replaced him. Second down, eight yards to go. Ohio State on their own nine. Just under six minutes remaining in the third period. Rocking and running it to his 16 or 17. Once again, Jeff Seaman made the hit on him. I believe they'll measure. Well, they call it a first down. They don't measure. It's on the Ohio State 17-yard line, the Buckeyes have a first down. And the shuttle system in again at guard. Jankowski spreads to the left. Wishbone. Turn pitching to Hayden. Hayden to the 25, 30, 40, and stepped out of bounds on the Ohio State 40 yard line. Leo Hayden. Jim Kaufman pushed him out. 23 yard gain by Hayden. And again, Stanford staying in this four man line. I hate to keep. Uh, referring to it except it's extremely difficult they're hooking the defensive end that puts the pressure on that outside linebacker as he comes across whether to go for the quarterback go for the fullback or wait out for the pitch out and he's getting caught right in the middle not making a definite decision not forcing it one way or the other they hit him right along the line of scrimmage Brock it in that time Dave, it was uh, Bill Alexander, the end, number 72, a second stringer, has played a strong game since he's been in here for Stanford. Second down, nine to go for Ohio State. Four minutes, 40 seconds remaining in the third period. Ohio State, with their usual ball control, has ran off 65 plays to Stanford's 41. Stanford moving up in a six-man front, you'll notice. Kern. To his 49, Jack Schultz, the safety man, tackled him. We're looking down the Ohio State bench. 
The leading ground gainer in this game is the quarterback Rex Kern with 109 yards. Brockington has 106. Hayden has 51. Eric Cross with 41 yards, the leading ball carrier for Stanford. Third down and a yard to go. Brockington, a first down to the Stanford 47. Ron Cajo on the tackle. Ohio State now has converted seven out of 14 third down situations. Stanford, two out of seven. Turn keeping, and he's dumped there. Looks like Seaman, 92, the middle linebacker. He's been roaming all over this field today. It is now on the 47 and a half, second down, 10 and a half yards to go. Ohio State in possession in Stanford territory. Remember a few times. Ohio State's lost yardage. Turn on a drop back. Plenty of time. Broken up. Flag down. Number 28, reaching over each other. Number 29, Benny Barnes. That's a tough play. You got to go up over the man's back, hook around him, or else it's a completed pass. Might be able to see it again. Number 80, Jan White going down. There's Barnes hitting him just before the ball comes to him. As Kurt says, it's very difficult to try and go over the man's shoulder. Both teams have been comparatively free of mistakes in this game. Very few turnovers, very few penalties. Stanford's had only two turnovers. Ohio State hasn't turned the ball over once. Typical Ohio State performance to the 36-yard line of Stanford when John Brockington Larry Butler put him down as he upended him. The second down, seven. As we told you during the year, Ohio State fumbled the ball away only five times in nine games. Two and a half minutes remaining in the third period. 17 to 13, Ohio State leading. Turn keeps may have been a mess up on the handoff. Timing destroyed. Dave Tipton tackled him. And Dennis Moore. On the 33 yard line of Stanford, Ohio State has a third down and four. As Stanford moved one of its defensive tackles over the nose of the offensive center, you can never tell whether a quarterback is automatic or not. We just assume Kern tried to, got a little mixed up in the backfield. Third and four. Kern running the keeper. And there he goes again. And he starts that slide. That's, that's off the old split tee. That slide down the line of scrimmage. Only they option on the tackle. If he stays out, Kern cuts inside. And you see his cutting ability. That's the secret of that option quarterback. His ability to turn and cut up field as quickly as Kern does. If you uh, come in and take him, then he's going to pitch out for the trailing halfback going wide. First down, Ohio State. Ohio State now is on the Stanford 28. Well, Ohio State, as we told you, murdered everybody this year in the third period. But they're getting a real battle from Stanford. Each team has a field goal in this quarter, and that's it. A minute 20 remaining in the third period. Koski set to the right. Rocking in like a wild buffalo charging. He veers very well, doesn't he, Kyle? He really does. And Dennis Moore, the outside linebacker for Stanford, was in good position. Just uh, dove. Rockington's ability to give him a limp leg, go right over him.
Second down, five. Ohio State on the Stanford 23. Leo Hayden, second man through. Beat Lazatich underneath number 78. Is just over the Stanford 20. We're in the last 30 seconds of the third period. Third down and a yard to go. Here comes Kern out. Mesa Joski replaces him. Kern got a big hand. He's played another brilliant Rose Bowl game. Voted the outstanding player of this game as a sophomore two years ago. They're close. Rich Galbos. I think the reason Kern came out of the ball game, either his hand or he either got maybe even got his foot stepped on on that uh, last play where handed off to Hayden. Either that or got his uh, thumb jammed. Looks like he's not seriously bothered. He may be going right Inch back in. in. Rex Kern going back in now. Fourth down and about two or three inches to go. Stanford 19. And they asked for the crowd to quiet down, and that's the end of the quarter. The end of the third quarter in a 1971 Rose Bowl game with a score Ohio State 17, Stanford 13. In that third period, Ohio State had the ball 10 and a half minutes, Stanford four and a half. Ohio State ran off 24 plays, Stanford 10. Indicative of the ball control that Woody Hayes has always taught at Ohio State. But he's in a tight ball game here. There are your first downs, 19 to 11. This is Kurt Gowdy and Kyle Rowe. And we're starting the fourth quarter. Each team had a field goal in the third period, and that was it. Ohio State has run up 372 yards on the ground to 127 for Stanford. Fourth and inches on the Stanford 19. Oh, they may have stopped him. Stanford holds on the 20. They only had three inches to go, and Stanford stopped him. John Brockington was stopped. That's one of the few times he's been stopped all year. For that great quick off the mark power he has. Stanford on their 20, first down. They've beaten some good teams this year. USC, Arkansas, Oregon, Washington, UCLA. Now Plunkett sets him down in his spread offense with the two receivers out. He's going to go to the sideline. It's out of bounds to Demia Washington. Tim Anderson forced him out. That's the fifth ball that Washington has caught. Bob Morris caught four. The Taha, they've been able to hit him only once. Second down, four to go. Stanford on their 26, they're trailing 17-13. We just started the fourth period. A slant pattern, that's complete for a first down. To Jamea Washington again in front of Tim Anderson. Plunkett now is 14 out of 23. Plunkett very wary of the Red Dogs by Ohio State. That time it was Jack Tatum coming in from his left. Very sure to have the quick, the quick passes that take very little time to get off. First and 10 for Stanford on their 36. Lassiter's replaced Washington as the outside man now. He's going to run it. He's at the 35, and he's out of bounds on his 38. And he's into the Ohio State bench. Shad Williams and Jim Stillwagon ran him out of bounds. 
I think he thought better of the bench than Tatum. Tatum is right on his trail, too. I don't blame him. Second down, eight to go for the Stanford Indians. Quarterback draw. The big strong quarterback rips away and pulls to the 48. 210 pounds. Went to the finals of the North California Wrestling Tournament in high school. There you see Doug Adams 63 dropping back. John Sandy 55 coming through. And here comes Plunkett. There's Sensor Ball number three. Pretty good open field runner. First down for Stanford on their own 48 yard line. 10 yard run by Jim Plunkett. Time again, and it's good to Bataha. Randy Bataha catches his second ball of the game, and he's out on the 42. Plunkett working no sideline. There have been many times they've not put two men on Bataha. That time, Sensabaugh was going to drop over and help out. Bataha goes out. Demia Washington replaces him. That leaves Lassiter and Washington in as the wide outside uh, wide men. And here's the first down measurement. Woody Hayes talking to one of the officials. First down. Woody had the best look in the house. Stanford has a first down on the Ohio State 42. They've driven from their own 20. The score is 17 to 13 in favor of Ohio State. 13 minutes and 47 seconds remaining. Out of the slot right. Just over the 40. Jackie Brown. They haven't been able to run much against this Ohio State team. Doug Adams got underneath him. I think Plunkett just trying to give them enough running to make them honest, make them respect the running game. Stanford not in a fight for the number one position in the country, but knows it can really wrap up a great season with a win here today and an upset over Ohio State. Second down, eight. Raise it up. Pass to the 35, and to the 32, and Howard had to bring uh, Bataha down. Bataha is tricky after he catches the ball. And you can see Bataha all alone now. And what really put him all alone was the fact that Plunkett moved Shockley up into that little slot position. And here comes Tatum, who had had to cover Shockley. Plunkett trying to get Ohio State to cover one on one rather than double cover the Taha. They got a tackle out of there, Shad Williams. First down, Stanford on the Ohio State 31. Quite a drive Stanford's putting on now, and it's the passing of Jim Plunkett. Hillary Shockley clearing to that sideline and is belted out by Stan White, the linebacker at the Ohio State 28. Jockley and Jackie Brown will be back next year as the Stanford running backs. The Bataha's back in now, replacing Demia Washington. Second down, seven. Twelve and a half minutes to play in the game. Ohio State leading 17 to 13. Stanford on the march. And the Ohio State 28. Trying to set up a pass to Lassiter. Earlier in the game, Eric Cross took that reverse. That was Bataha and ran 40 yards with it. They were going to reverse it to him again. 
but I'm sure if Taha was going to try and pass the Lasseter who was down there in the end zone. Yeah, Lasseter was open for a few steps deep, but of course, Bataha had no chance at all, had no time to even get the ball up to throw it. Had a wire here about the stars on the helmets. Those are for outstanding performances when they grade the defensive and offensive films. Every time a player gets a good grade on the game film, they receive a star on their helmet. Third down now. Plunkett looking. He's good on a broken play. Fires on the run to Moore. What a catch! What a grab by Bob Moore, the tight end. Tremendous catch by Bob Moore. Plunkett having to break his pattern. Now fires to the corner. And there's that diving catch by Bob Moore. Moore breaking his pattern now, looking for an opening. Plunkett loose, throws the ball. Number 19, Don Lampka trailing. This Moore is good of receiving tight end that you'll ever want to look at today. And that, that's Plunkett's big play, a broken pattern. He's so strong, he can throw on the run and deep on a broken pattern. First and goal. Plunkett trying to dive, and he's hit on the yard line. As he tried to dive over, Jack Tatum. Doug Adams met him there. 11 minutes to play in the game. Stanford can take the lead if they drive in. They're on the Ohio State one-yard line. And as you look at the field, you'll see the paint on the grass. It's on the inside of the goal line. You'll see the thin stripe. That is the goal line, not the white paint. All right, a second down, a yard to go for a Stanford touchdown. Plunk it again. He stopped. Stopped at the one. He's big and strong on that quarterback sneak. He's running up against a tough line. Lutner got underneath him. Helped by Doug Adams. Third down, a yard to go for what could be a go-ahead Stanford touchdown. And every team, of course, has a goal line offense. We'll see which one Plunkett selects this time. Jackie Brown. He's over. Jackie Brown scores. Stanford is ahead. This handoff to Jackie Brown. Brown getting some good blocking up front. Dives in and Stanford is out in front. What a drive. Engineered by Jim Plunkett. 80 yards, 14 plays. And the big play was a pass of 25 yards with an incredible catch by the tight end Bob Moore. That gave Stanford a first and goal on the Ohio State three. Horowitz will try the point. Murray is holding. And the kick, good. Boy, we've got ourselves something here. Action will continue at the Rose Bowl. The score is now Stanford 20, Ohio State 17. Stanford will kick off. Campana and Brockington are at the 10. The end, Jankowski's at the 5 for Ohio State. Getting back to those stars, they're not stars, they're Buckeye Leaf decals on the uh, Stanford uh, Ohio State helmets. Here's Horowitz to boot. Stanford now leading 20 to 17. They've outscored Ohio State in the second half. Something no ever opponent has done. The tip. They're going to down it for the touchback, and Ohio State will put the ball in play on its own 20. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be switching to Miami, Florida. Jim Simpson, L.D. Rogata standing by for the Orange Bowl, undefeated Nebraska against the powerhouse LSU team. Notre Dame upset Texas today to end their 30-game streak. Stanford's ahead right now. They were bigger underdogs. And the other bowl game today, Tennessee whipped the Air Force. Now let's see what Stanford does, or Ohio State does now in their own 20. Out of the wishbone. Rex Kern on the pitch out. He's dragged for a loss. And the 
tackle made by 44, Jack Schultz. The defensive captain and safety man of Stanford. Excellent play by both men. Roger Cowan, the left defensive end, coming across. Also Jack Schultz. Larry Zelina checks into the Ohio State backfield. Second down, 12. Ohio State on their 18-yard line. They're trailing now, 20 to 17. Third hit as he let the ball go. What a rush by Larry Butler, number 73. And Roger Cowan, number 93, a second string in. Stanford aroused now. Third down and 12. Ohio State pinned back on their 18-yard line. They send a new play in via their guard, Brian Donovan. That last drive, Stanford kept the ball five minutes when they went 80 yards. Turn. Going. Intercepted by Jack Schultz. Jack Schultz intercepts number 44. Turn through it right in his hand. That's the first turnover today for Ohio State. Stanford's turned the ball over twice. Timeout. Action will continue here at the Rose Bowl. The score, Stanford 20, Ohio State 17. Stanford's ball first down in the Ohio State 25. 9-11 to play. Brown and Shockley behind Jim Plunkett. Bataha left. The pass to Bataha hits him on the 20. Look at him dance. And he goes to the 14. Quick feet, explosive change of direction for the rabbit, Randy Bataha. When a receiver gets in that position, it's just like Anybody else playing in their backyard playing football, it's one-on-one -on -one and you just make the moves you think you have to make. Excellent after he catches the ball. The offside is declined by Stanford against Ohio State. It'll be a first down for Stanford on the Ohio State 14. Jamea Washington replaces Jack Lassiter. Well, they weren't getting that ball to Vataha until about five or six minutes ago. Now he's caught four balls in the game. Stanford on the Ohio State 14 a first down. Stanford's ahead 20 to 17. They run it to the 10, and that's Jackie Brown, who scored two touchdowns. Doctor trying to block for him. Might make one point. Ohio State has changed its defensive alignment. They've now been in a four-man line. In other words, they've moved Jim Stillwagon off the nose of John Sandy, the center, moved him over in front of a guard. And that time they had moved him over in front of Dan Lightfoot. Lightfoot making an excellent block, taking Stillwagon to the inside. Lasser to the right. They're in a slot. Second down six on the uh, 10. Plunkett fires into the end zone. No good. Bob Moore, the tight end that time, was covered well by Tim Anderson. So it'll be third down and six for Stanford on the Ohio State 10. Ohio State still driving in on Plunkett. George Hazen all that time putting pressure on him. Fighting off his blockers, getting into the area. Plunkett has hit 244 yards, 17 out of 28. And he spread his passes around. Touchdown! Randy Bataha. A slant pattern. And they caught the safety blitz. There you see since the ball, number three, coming in, left the opening. Normally that's where since the ball would be, and he read it perfectly. Now we see Bataha. Look at the great outside fake he gave. There's a very sense of ball. Safety red dog. Plunkett picked it up perfectly. And now the, the fake on Harry point. Howard. Horowitz kick. Good. That 
action will continue here in the Rose Bowl. The score, Stanford 27, Ohio State 17. And now we return you to our studios for this message. Stanford will kick off. You know, before uh, these two teams took the field for the opening kickoff, Ohio State knew that Texas was defeated. So they were going maybe for the number one. Now Nebraska's laying out there in Miami in the Orange Bowl, and when it's all over, they could be the undefeated team along with Arizona State, which by playing in the West, mostly on Saturday night, does not get the recognition it should in the national ranking. Another deep kick by Horowitz. They'll run this one out. Jankowski is hit. That's what they like to do. Anytime you keep a team from running that kick back over its 20, you've done your job on the kickoff. It'll be on the 13-yard line. The Bob Hope Desert Classic will be coming up Saturday and Sunday, February 13th and 14th on NBC. We have eight minutes and 14 seconds left, and Stanford had the ball only, or Ohio State's had the ball only 55 seconds in this period. Stanford's used ball control, but with a pass instead of the run. Rex Kern now goes to the air, and it's no good to Jan White. Kyle with a, uh, a running attack and not a good passing team. When you're behind like this, it's going to be tough for Ohio State. It really is that ball control uh, type of offense. It becomes uh, really a measurable handicap if that clock doesn't have enough uh, time left on it. Eight minutes, a little over eight minutes, eight minutes, ten seconds. Mesa Jowski is in now at quarterback. He's a better uh, long thrower than Kern. Zelina is also in. Second and ten. Ohio State on their 13. They throw, and that one is incomplete. That pass intended again for Jan White, the tight end, came right back to him. Benny Barnes doing an excellent job on covering. I don't think he played defensive secondary until he came to Ohio State. And there's Rex Kern back in the Ohio State backfield. 27 to 17. Stanford ahead. 10 point underdogs. They're ahead by 10 now. They roll out with Kern trying to get that first down. And he brings it up to his 25. Rex Kern gets it. Kern now is 125 yards rushing in this game from the quarterback position. And there's an example of the problems you have with a running quarterback. Kern having to come off the field again, shaking up a bit on the play. Have to be awfully sturdy to hold up under that type of beating that you take when you keep that ball on the option. They're attending him. Mesa Joski puts him down. It's first down Ohio State on their 25. He's under the gun. And he is pulled down on his 23. Getting in there to him was Dave Tipton. The Thunder Chicken up front for Stanford. The loss of two for Ohio State. They have a second down and 12. And the clock ticking away against Ohio State. We're approaching seven minutes remaining in this game. The undefeated, untied Ohio State Buckeyes are trailing before an inspired Stanford team. He's hit as he released the ball, but completes it to Jan White at the 32-yard line. It was a great throw by Mesa Joski because he was really belted as he let the ball go. Jan White looked like he was down on his knee. Maybe he got up in time. Normally that uh, was so quick. And May Sajowski going back. Here's what happens to you after you let that ball go. On the Ohio State 32, third down and three. Ohio State has to keep possession. And they're on their 33, and that's all. They're short of a first down. John Brockington, who follows in a long line, a great Ohio State fullback. Ohio State always seems to have fullbacks and tackles. Jim Otis, Bob Ferguson, Bob White, Matt Snell, and now John Brockington. Fourth down and a yard to go for Ohio State, trailing 27 to 17. 
Under six minutes remaining. Here in the Rose Bowl. The lights are on. They're going for it. They have to. And they don't get it. They're stopped at the 34 yard line. Dennis Moore in there. Jeff Seaman in there, the middle linebacker. And Stanford stops Ohio State on the Ohio State 34. Timeout as Stanford takes over. Action will continue here at the Rose Bowl. The score, Stanford 27, Ohio State 17. There's your time, 5.41 to go. Stanford's ball on the Ohio State 34. First down. Stanford leading 27 to 17. Jackie Brown. Well, he had some drive on that one, didn't he? Like he exploded. Ken Lutner hit him around the ankles to knock him loose. And Bob Moore, the tight end. What a game he's played. The end of the first half, we were voting for the most valuable player of this game. I imagine you'd vote for Rex Kern. Right now, I think the tide has swung over to Jim Plunkett. He's passed for 250 yards. 18 to 29. Second down three. And Hillary Shockley is to the Ohio State 24. Jim Stillwagon and Stan White on him. Third down and a short yard to go. Stamper's had the ball about 80% of the time in the fourth quarter. First down for Shockley to the 19 of Ohio State. Mike Sessenbaugh, the safety man, made the stop on him. Tremendous job of blocking in the middle. Again, John Sandy blocking on Jim Stillwagon. Both outstanding performers they'll both be pretty sore tomorrow morning just a constant hitting all evening Stanford on the Ohio State 19 leading 27 17 four minutes to play there it is out to Bataha the 15 and he stopped short of a first down I believe Randy Bataha out of the flat been catching those balls here late in the game that's five for him now. He caught only one with about eight or nine minutes to go. It's on the 12-yard line of Ohio State. It'll be second down and two. Lassiter comes in. Demia Washington out as the outside receiver. Dapper's playing ball control not only with a running but a passing game. Well, he ran into something that time. Jackie Brown stopped cold on the Ohio State 13 by Hazen Hall, the left tackle. I want to thank very much Lay Leishman, the chairman of the football committee of the Pasadena Tournament of Roses. The Ohio State coach, Woody Hayes, and his staff, especially Lou McCullough, who was a great aide to us there. Number one assistant, the athletic director, Ed Weaver, and the sports information director, Wilbur Snip. Third down, three to go for Stanford. Quarterback draw, Jim Plunkett. Fumbles the ball. Ohio State has it. Now they ladder her up. Running with the ball. There's Jack Tatum. We've got something going here. But it was a go. It was a forward lateral, which I think they have ruled. Flag down, that's right. Flag down. Lateral the ball forward. Steve Jubb is on the uh, turf injured. Dan White recovered a fumble. And trying to lateral off, he pitched it forward.
Number 79, Jubb is up. He's all right. He goes out. That's an illegal forward pass. It's brought the signal being given. The penalized to the 13-yard line. It's first down for Ohio State. They have possession with two minutes and 36 seconds remaining. You know, Curtin's talking about the job that John Sandy was able to do holding off Jim Stillwagon. Dennis Sheehan, who has replaced Sandy in there, has been doing a tremendous job, too. I've had a chance to point his name out since he got into the ballgame. Mesa Jowski to Jan White. White to the 25 and to the 28-yard line of Ohio State. Jack Schultz, number 44, hitting first. They've already announced in the press box that Jim Plunkett receives the Helms Award, the most valuable player of this 1971 Rose Bowl game. So that caps off a phenomenal career for Jim Plunkett. Voted this year the outstanding college player in America. He won so many awards that we couldn't put all the credits up on the screen for him today. The awards he's won. And he winds up a Stanford career that probably is the most brilliant individual career in the history of Stanford football. And he did it with a clutch performance today. First down. I think Kyle, the outstanding thing of this game is Ohio State had just murdered everybody in the second half, and yet Stanford outplayed Ohio State in the second half today. Well, this has been pretty much an entire Pacific 8 uh, conference affair. All of the Pacific 8 coaches who were in the area, I think, came in to lend assistance to John Ralston to see if there's anything they could do to help. Ohio State under 28, Stanford leading 27 to 17. Mace Fajowski throwing deep. Beautiful catch. Flag is down. There's a flag down. Dan White making a spectacular grab. While we're waiting for this ruling, we can watch Jan White going downfield. Leading pass receiver for Ohio State. Covered by Benny Barnes, and there's a great twisting catch, but it'll be called back. This is against Ohio State. They dropped that flag deep in the secondary. I wonder if it's offensive pass interference. We'll see. I think it is offensive pass interference. As he followed the receiver on the route, he threw the flag. Offensive pass interference against Ohio State. Puts the ball back on the Ohio State 14. They lose the down. It's second down and 24 yards to go for Ohio State. Mesa Jowski lobbing it deep again. And over the head of number 82, Jankowski. Jim Kaufman covering him. A minute 57. We'll be switching right after the final gun here to the Orange Bowl for Nebraska and Louisiana State. So you won't see the pandemonium that'll break loose by Stanford, as this will turn out to be perhaps the greatest victory of Stanford's football history. Killed your team, the Stanford team this year. When they had the big one, they had to win, they won it. Yet they lost three games. Mosadowski's pass. And I think they've called that to Zelina, completed the 29 yard line of Ohio State. Stanford defeated Arkansas, their big one against USC that they were so desperate for. They knocked over UCLA. They had to beat Washington to go to the Rose Bowl. And after they clinched the Rose Bowl, they lost to the Air Force and California, two teams they were favored against. 27-17, the clock ticking away against Ohio State. And now timeout charged against Ohio State. Action will continue here at the Rose Bowl. The score is Stanford 27, Ohio State 17. We also want to thank the Stanford uh, coach, John Ralston, and his staff. Johnny Ralston, at the age of 43, about to score the biggest victory of his career. The athletic director, Chuck Taylor, sports information director, Bob Murphy. 
Third down 11 for Ohio State. Mesa Jowski's pass just misses Jan White, who was open at the Stanford 45. And he might have gone all the way. That was a fourth down. Ball goes over to Stanford. This telecast has been produced by Luke Cussero, directed by Harry Coyle. Our unit manager has been Bill Palmerston. Our associate director, John Kittleson. Our production assistant, Virginia Seip. Technical supervisor, Jerry Ireland. Technical director, Gene Swartz. Audio, Jim Kiger. Here's the play. Stanford running it. Trying to kill the clock. And our video by Ray Olson. We're in the last minute of the Rose Bowl, and Stanford will be an upset victor. Texas was upset today by Notre Dame, and Ohio State is being upset by Stanford. Listen to the roar from the Stanford stands. What a cheer. They have a new quarterback, Jess Freitas, in the game, replacing Plunkett. Flags are down. 38 seconds remaining. Want to thank Steve Bailey, radio station KMPC here in Los Angeles, for his help with us today. And Bill Freeze of Ohio State. Dr. Robert Woods again doing a fine job on our statistics and Chuck Panama. The great help we've had here in the booth. And a happy new year to all you gentlemen. And our stage manager, the bearded Bob Osberg. This penalty going against Ohio State. Well, we're going to get right out of here, Kyle, after the final gun. I know you may have final analysis of the game. Well, I think uh, it sort of told its own story. Jim Plunkett, they weren't able to contain him. Gave him enough time. He read the safety red dog one too often. Put it right on the button. That was that pass to Vataha, the ceiling touchdown he threw. Reggie Sanderson, the Stanford Indians have their second stringers in now. 34 seconds to go. Again, Lutner tackled him. It'll be a sad windup for these outstanding seniors of Ohio State who are playing in their second losing game in three years. So they have made Ohio State proud. Rex Kern, all these Jan White, Jankowski and his boys. That's the quarterback, Jess Freitas, who be one of the Bitters for Jim Plunkett's job. They have a big pair of shoes to step into next year. Kyle, you've seen a lot of quarterbacks. Played against them. Seen them in college in a pro game. How do you rate Jim Plunkett? Well, his, I think his awareness of what's around him impresses me the most. He knows where his other people are, his backs. He can sense the pressure that's coming at him, as he has this afternoon from Ohio State. His ability to throw the ball off balance with the strong arm you were describing earlier seems to be quite cool seems to have the temperament required of a quarterback he's not a holler guy but his teammates tell me he has the calm assurance and character that 